chapter 4, verses 17 to 32. About 16 verses. Next. <coughs> we'll have two questions. What the first one is what are the responsibility of the Christian? Meaning our responsibility as Christian. Second, what are the qualities? Meaning, what should we be like? The qualities a responsible person. You know, be good. No way. Next. Now, the point that we talked about the Bible talk a long time ago. The Ephesians, and as you can see, the found of the Ephesians. person who was made to be like <coughs> God. Truly good. Amazing how So, you must stop telling lies. You must always speak the truth to each other. Because we all belong to each other in the same body. When you become angry, don't let that anger make you sin. And don't stay angry all day. Verse 27, 
Don't give the devil a way to defeat you. 28. Whoever has been stealing must stop it and start working. They must use their hand for doing something good. Then they will have something to share with those who are poor. When you talk, don't say anything bad. But think the good thing that people need. Whatever will help them grow stronger. Then what you say will be a blessing to those who hear you. Verse 30. And don't make the Holy Spirit sad. God gave you the Spirit as proof that you belong to Him and that He will keep you safe until the day He makes you free. Never be bitter or angry or mad. Never shout angry or say things to hurt others. Never do things evil. Verse 32, and be kind and loving to each other. Forgive each other the same as God forgave you for the Christ. Okay. Now, we're going to go into the lesson itself. The next question, first question is that, what are the responsibilities of Christian? So, what we need to do is we need to be doing this. First one is integrity. Mean. Be honest. Number one. says, the quality of being honest and having high moral principle. The next one, number two, the condition of being free for, from damages or the bet, total honesty and sincere. Now, the word itself is from the book of Psalm, chapter 25, verse 21. You are good and do what is right. I trust you to protect me. Another verse in Luke chapter 16, verses 10 and 11. Whoever is dishonest in little things will be dishonest in big things, too. Verse 11 says it cannot be trusted with worldly riches, you will not be trusted with true riches. That's involved in money or investment. No selling, buying, you know, you will not be honest with that. No. Obedience. We need to be in acting and obeying or willing to obey God and His Word. We should be reading and studying and going to church. That's obeying and act of obeying and being willing to obey. And we follow Christians every day, not only Sunday, but when we feel like it. No, we need to practice using this to be obeying and do the right thing every day. God knows that we are not perfect, but it doesn't matter. We make an effort of our everyday life to be better. And we would have to become like military, military people. You know, 
know, especially in good, good athletic people try to be good athletic. But being military and athletic is still not good enough. Number one, we need to be in person. We need to follow God. We need to know that He's number one. So don't put God number one. Or don't put yourself at number one, but put God's number one. Uh, doing what you're supposed to do is what we need to do. According to the book of James, chapter 1, verse 8 through 9, it says, Always remember what is written in that book of law. Think about that book and study it. Day and night. Then you can be sure to obey if you do this, you will be wise and successful in everything you do. Remember, I command, commanded you to be strong and brave. Do not be afraid, because the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Okay. See, trustworthiness. One says you need to serve, deserving trust and confidence. You have a confidence of being trustworthy. And number two, being able to be trusted or depended on. I mean, can people like you, Christian, including people in the world, be trusted? I mean, that I will preach this word. It's important that we learn about that. And in the Bible, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6, it says, Trust the Lord completely, and do not depend on your own knowledge. With every step you take, think about what He wants, and He will help you go the right way. will help you go
unrighteous, and finally, one enslaved to Satan. But now, on the positive side, after you repent and be baptized into Jesus Christ, you will be now cleansed. You will be now alive to God. You will be now forgiven. You will be now justified. And then you will be now free from sin. Understanding on the right side or the positive side, and I hope it belongs to the people that everyone here today has already became a Christian and taken the Lord's Supper and taken the bread to represent Jesus' body and also taken the fruit of the vine to represent Jesus' blood. And Jesus' blood is what we drink it because he has washed away of our sin.